Hello, my name is Casper, and I'm from Strups Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, uh, Strups Technologies cameras to Mobotic's free software MX management center. Uh, first of all, you need to download the software from mobotics.com. Right? Uh, you open it and um, go to, as I'm not from the, all these uh, countries, I choose global English language. And uh, then we go to product, open MX management center. And down here, there is a button download now. And I want to use uh, latest version 130. Okay. Um, I download here as my computer is 64 bit processor. I choose 64 bit uh, installation. Um, here you have to register in this uh, uh, Mobotix site. Uh, I have already done that, okay, with my username and password, okay, I do that. I agree the terms of uh, use for Mobotix software, you can read this, it's very interesting. Okay, send form, and the download should start automatically, okay, here down, it shows how it's downloading, right, it will take a bit of time. Uh, this the software is already installed to my computer. Um, I have already done that because I'm working with Mobotix every day and Strops Technologies cameras. And um, just click on the MX Management Center. And the first window, it will be welcome screen with the MX Management Center. And if you have cameras in your local network, you can add them and search by uh, searching tool. Or what I want to do, I want to start a new project right now. Um, I want to add my Strops AV camera um, to my Mo Mobotix management center for how, where can I uh, watch live video, li watch live and looking uh, on the um, recordings and get the alarms. Right. Uh, how It looks very um, bit interesting, but what here you can do, you can add very easily cameras, um, like pressing like sliding down this uh, left side okay here's like small key just open it and just add manually okay I have a camera uh, let's name it Strups uh, VS with with IP address you can add the IP address or domain name and for me it's domain i3.strupbus.com Okay, we can leave uh, for DNS. We can do the same um, if you have like local network and you have a uh, other network where you go outside from your network and you have your uh, like uh, remote uh, EP address or DNS server. You can DNS address. You can uh, put the remote uh, URL. Okay, um, let's put username and password and just it click it right it assigned to me um, this one camera for me here you can see here and um, on left side you can adjust brightness and contrast yeah you can change it uh, it doesn't change to camera it changes only on this image uh, okay here you can get the live image and uh, you can see the frame rate is very excellent for this camera it gives 30 frames per second on the um, left side, you have to configure it. Uh, my camera is uh, configured as a 24-7 recording, uh, which means I don't have this histogram. But uh, when you have cameras uh, installed and configured for uh, with uh, uh, activity sensor or video motion, you can get the histogram to, to see on the data uh, like uh, small bars when there has been an action. Okay, for me it doesn't work right now. Um, here you can uh, switch, this is live view, and you can change to um, playback view, like pressing this button here, just one click, okay? And uh, you can choose, here is a date line, okay? Camera has been sit in my, uh, ta my home for uh, like many hours, okay? Um, Let's let's change to some other time. Right, yeah. 
here I have a camera already to my uh, uh, office and uh, by sliding this and release this you can uh, switch between times between uh, timeline okay I have uh, in this camera I have a 4 gigabyte memory card uh, which is uh, configured for 24 hours 7 days a week uh, recording uh, which gives me about uh, how many hours it's uh, 12 about 10 hours yep that's that's okay and um, right so that should be about it yeah okay see you next time thank you bye